Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to season two of Angling Spiders. Nice fish, bud. Good job. <laughs> Look at that. Chunky. Is that a northern pike minnow? A northern pike minnow. That is something we don't get at home. Nope. Awesome, man. Welcome back everybody. It is season two of Angling Spiders and we are really excited about what is to come for 2020. Yeah, last season we had almost 200 subscribers and made 20 episodes. So thanks, thanks to all of you for subscribing. Um, this year we're looking to make some more great content. So if you like what we're doing here, make sure you subscribe yourself and tell your family and friends about us. Awesome. So we were gonna have a Christmas episode, but I got pulled away to Hawaii and uh, went there for some work and ultimately tacked on a vacation. So it didn't happen. I did end up doing some fishing in Hawaii from shore. So if you haven't seen that episode, go check it out. Um, but even though we didn't get the Christmas episode in, we did get some Christmas loot. And if you watch the Hawaii episode, you'll notice I am sporting a brand new hat. And I also got the hat as well as this nice new angling spider sweater. Sweet. And what else did you pick up for Christmas? So yeah, um, actually it's the focus of today's episode. I got a brand new 3D printer. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that 3D printer to create some 3D printed lures and then we're going to um, basically put them together, paint them up and see if we can catch a fish this season. So let's get to it. Okay everyone, this is our production area where we edit our videos and now it is also where we have our 3D printer. Our 3D printer is on the right here. It is a Creality Ender 3 Pro, which is a good entry level 3D printer. It's a PLA filament printer and so the material that it uses to print with is on the spool on the top and that feeds down through an extruder into a heated nozzle that then extrudes the material onto a print bed based on a pattern that is put into the printer. The pattern we're currently using is sitting on the screen here. It's a rattle trap lure and we've got it in a program called Cure that we use to slice it into the various layers that the printer needs to interpret for printing. We then put that on a card and put it into the printer and use that for our print pattern. Um, as you can hopefully see, the printer is currently working on both halves of the lure and this particular print, based on the quality settings that we've chosen, will take about an hour to print both halves. Then our goal is to uh, basically take the print and turn it into a fishing lure. So I just wanted to show you where we get all of our designs that we 3D print. Um, we go to this website called Thingiverse. Now Thingiverse is a website where creators can upload their designs and anybody can 3D print them for free. So to find what you're looking for, just go up to this little uh, search bar and type in what you want. I have typed in fishing lure. And here you can see all the different fishing lure designs that have been posted on Thingiverse. So in our video, I believe we use this rattle trap fishing lure by Steve Thone. Thank you for sharing that with us. And now, to get the design, you just have to download the files. So once you have your files downloaded, um, you have to put them in a slicing program so that your 3D printer will be able to read the files and know what to do with them. So we use Cura by the company Ultimaker. So to find your file, just go up into this corner, into this folder icon here. Go onto wherever you put the file and place it into Cura. And it will load this little 3D version. Now you can change your settings up in here, but I think we found some pretty good settings that we like to use, so we're not going to change any of those right now. And all you have to do is press slice. Now once this file is sliced, you can put it onto a removable drive and plug it into your printer. So here we have the results of the 3D print. 
We've got both halves of the lure, and uh, you can see here the detail is pretty good. Um, there's a cavity on the other side so that uh, when we put it together, we can put some BBs in here. That's what's recommended. In my case, I'm going to use some pellets from a pellet gun. Same effect. Uh, some in the front for weight and some in the middle to create the rattle sound. And then we're going to put both pieces together with some two-part epoxy. Another thing that we're going to have to do is add a little bit of wire. So I've got some um, wire that I'm going to create some loops for the treble hooks and also to attach the line to. And those will go into some spaces here that uh, will create a, the, the attachment points. So uh, on to next steps. Welcome to my paint studio. Uh, I don't currently have a garage, so I do my spray painting in my basement. But I was lucky enough that my wife bought me one of these spray paint tents and they work great for spray painting indoors. That's what we're going to use today to prime up this 3D lure. Uh, what we've done in the interim is we have used some two-part epoxy to glue both halves together. And I also inserted some pellets instead of BBs for the rattle and also for some weight. And I also had to do a little bit of filling on the front end, just there was a gap that needed to be filled prior to priming. And so I basically put on some wood filler in this case and then sanded it fine. And so now what we're gonna do is get this put up inside the spray paint tent and get a layer of um, primer on it so that we can go into painting. So hopefully you can see by my setup here, I've attached the lure to the end of a string within the spray paint tent. That's gonna allow me to put primer on uh, around the entire surface at once so that I don't have to flip it over later. And here we are with the final result. So what I did was used acrylic paints to put a skeleton pattern on the lure. And then I basically coated it in some acrylic, some varnish, and then added some treble hooks. So that's the final product. We are gonna do another one because Kieran's got one printed as well. So he'll put on his own design and then we will get them out and test them out on the water. Can't wait. Thank you.